Hi, second graders, it's Mrs. Compton, and today I've brought with me a clock. So I know this clock is attached to this thing here, but I want you to zero in on this clock. And I want you to tell me all the things that you know about this. So I'm going to leave it here for just a second, and I really want you to look and notice. What do you see here? What do you notice? Maybe even what do you wonder? Maybe this would be a good time to hit pause. All right. What did you notice? What did you wonder? Let's find out. Maybe you noticed that there are 12 big numbers around the clock. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe you noticed that there is a red, we call this hand, and a blue hand. Does anyone know which one is the hour hand and which one is the minute hand? The hour hand is the blue hand. The minute hand is the red hand. Maybe you even noticed that there were little ticks. I call those little tick lines between. So maybe you saw that there was a one, two, three, four, and then that would be the fifth one. Hmm. Oh, did anyone notice that we could count by fives around this clock? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And we counted all of them and we got to 60. Now, 60 is an important number with time. Does anyone know why 60 is an important number? Hmm. I'm guessing some of you are telling me that there are 60 minutes in one hour, and that is true. So if my minute hand, my, remember, my red hand's my minute hand. If my minute hand moves, that would be a five-minute move. 10, 15, and it would keep going and going. That would be finally, it's moved 30 minutes around the clock. Let me see. So I was at 1 o'clock, and now I am at 1.30. So we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. Maybe some of you even thought about, hmm, why does, I wonder why the hour hand is between the 1 and the 2. Did anybody wonder about that? When I moved it, why the hour hand moved to right between? It's not on one and it's not on two. So is it two o'clock yet? Or is it not there yet? I guess it's not there yet. So this would be one and then it's part of the way to the next hour. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This is our minute hand. So it would be 130. It's actually close to 1.30 right now while I'm making this video for you. All right, so there's lots and lots of things we can notice and wonder on a clock. So I would like everyone to go find a clock in their house that looks like this, and I would like you to do a little more noticing and wondering, and just keep an eye on it. Make sure you're seeing there's lots of patterns on there that you can observe. Okay, are you ready to see our story problem today? All right. Here is our story problem. Now, raise your hand if you go to Pacific. Raise your hand if you knew I used to be a teacher at Pacific. Maybe you didn't know that. Raise your hand if you are in Mrs. Schnebley's class. We're saying hi to Mrs. Schnebley's class today. We're giving them a big shout out and I put you in the story today. So we've got a story about recess. And Mrs. Schnebley's class went to morning recess. Okay, can you imagine that in your mind? I know we're still in our Zoom rooms right now, but you can probably imagine what it was like when you were in first grade going out to morning recess. Recess lasts, hmm, minutes. The kids returned to class at, hmm, a.m. What time did Mrs. Schnebley's class go to recess? Ooh, this is a challenge. So this one's gonna stretch my brain. Let's try this out together. Okay, so in this story, I think I'm gonna choose my first number set. So you can choose either 20 and 1040, 
30 and 1045. 45 and 1105. And way down at the bottom, I can barely say it. 36 and 1150. Okay, so let's try it out with 20 and 1040. So here we go. I need my marker. Get it out of my pocket. So here's 20 minutes and 1040. Let's read that again so we really understand what the problem's asking. Mrs. Schneble's class went to morning recess. The recess lasts 20 minutes. The kids returned to class at 1040. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's check that out. Let's put 1040 on this clock. So here we go. There's my 10. And I remember my minute hand pointing to the 6 was 30. So I'm going to guess that would be 35 and that would be 40. Okay, now I'm going to put my little hour hand. It's not 11 o'clock yet, but it's past 10 because it's 1040. So I'm going to put my hour hand like that. Okay, so this is 1040. Now, recess lasted 20 minutes, and this is when they came back to class. So we're trying to figure out what time they went out to class or to recess. So could we add 20? and figure out what time they went out, or would we have to take off 20 minutes? Hmm, that's a big question, you guys. Okay, I hope you have a clock to go look at and play with and figure out patterns, because this is a question that should stretch your brains. Okay, kids, your turn to pick your number set, grab your tools, grab your stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.